The ST is two bikes in one, a confident tourer and a nifty sports bike. The suspension can be adjusted to your liking, so the ST sits perfectly through the bend. Or you can beef it up to take enough luggage for a round the world jaunt. The exhaust can also swivel to allow adjustment and it can give extra ground clearance if you intend getting everything down through those bends or it can be moved to allow luggage for touring. See, two bikes in one, that should keep the missus and the bank manager happy. The ST is an inline triple so it sounds completely unique compared to others in its class. The throttle is responsive and the engine is tuned for good mid-range grunt. The ST is a little more sport bias than Tora. The ergonomic layout, durable finish and protective bodywork make it a good long distance all round bike. Triumph Sprint ST is more of a sports tourer than a tourer, but if you want to enjoy yourself on the journey, which let's face it is half the point of going touring, then the ST is for you. If you can travel light, stick your belongings into a rucksack, the ST is going to deliver you with far more fun than some of the other bikes in this category. This is one of the best bikes if not the best bike Triumph build. It's a real competitor to the old VFR. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, the VFR is a machine which people say is, oh, absolutely fantastic, one of the best bikes ever made. Well, hey, Triumph have been building something equally as good, if not a little bit better for the last four or five years. It's a lovely sounding engine. Um, it's got real zest to it and uh, I love the engine. It's a shame it looks so dull though. It's a very ordinary, bland style bike and um, that's a shame because underneath it, it handles extremely well, brakes are brilliant and it's very comfortable. It's easy to overlook the meek looking Triumph Sprint ST but it actually has got a good strong three cylinder engine, it's got a good chassis and Triumph have done a good job putting it all together and making a good all round bike. It's not quite a sport tourer and it's not a full on tourer, it's something in the middle. But you could easily do 500 miles a day on this bike and you can hustle it through the twisties with a fair amount of enthusiasm. And it's a jack of all trades. So combining those scores for each of our categories, remember that street cred, build quality, performance, comfort and value give the Sprint ST a total score of 78%, putting it firmly halfway, which is fifth place in our chart.